Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode. Okay, I just have to check one last thing. That's to make sure this works. Still nothing, huh? Okay, so my my personal speakers are having a little bit of a fit right now, but that is fine. Uh, I did just get a haircut. It's kind of okay. I feel it's okay enough to uh, feel it's okay enough to not warrant one of my many many hats today. So we're going to load up our 24% uh, load. Okay, so the goal today is to complete Jurassic Park 3. We have two levels left in the world. And then we get to move on to Jurassic World, which will take us back to Isla Nublar. And we're going to be dealing with the Indominus Rex. I've been, ever since I started this series, I decided to turn on as much Jurassic Park as I can, only to find out that the uh, Netflix has decided to take off Jurassic Park. So I, I'm, I'm upset by that. I love Jurassic Park and they just take it away. The only thing they left behind for me was Jurassic Park Camp Cretaceous, which it's an okay series. We're not going to call upon a rover yet. Let's see. So what I'll need for over here is Amanda. Good thing I have Amanda. I feel her hair has changed. Up and over. Oh, there's our compass snagus. I'm, I'm still terrible with the names. I know that they are compies. Oh. Let's just block the compies. Is there another copy opening? Hmm. Okay. Let's crank the bones up. Sweet. Okay, our next chapter is right beyond there. We need Dr. Alan Grant again to chop through the bushes. Chop, chop, chop. And right here. I believe the level is DNA, Eric Kirby. So the whole reason why Paul and Amanda Kirby are on this island is that their child, Eric Kirby, went parasailing with a stepfather figure. And this is where we're at. Oh my gosh, from the mouse trap. Desky. They set a trap. They actually set a trap. It's human trap. <laughs> Okay, here we are in Eric's hideout. We've got some spiders that I don't think actually harm us. This way, it's not safe. I know a place we can hide. I 
feel like I've heard that voice actor before, because that does not sound like Eric Kirby. But it might. Okay, I think Eric has a camouflage. Some characters, such as Eric, are able to use camouflage to sneak around dinosaurs. So instead of screaming, Eric throws on a bunch of greenery. And that gets us to come on by. Now that box gives us... Oh my gosh. The sausage car. This should do it. We need to keep moving. Now without Paul Kirby, we can't interact with grapple points. So I can't do anything there. Let's keep beating up the foliage. I do I? Should I bother? I really shouldn't bother with trying to get the true survivor. I have to go back anyways. Yeah, you have to hook it to that tree. So we're gonna pull the winch. I can't remember what these are called. The hooks. And then we give it a swift boot. Now we swap to Eric. He goes through the small holes because Eric I'll find a way up for you too. is a child. There's one thing worse on, than a dinosaur. Quickly. A child. No, it's a child dinosaur. Well, actually, no. It, it's... A joke of a different caliber, and it's just the best kind of joke ever. There's only one thing worse than X. <gasps> a child. And it's like, no, no, it, it's not a child. But you can't help but laugh at, at the joke. It's the best joke. Okay, so that looks to be all the foliage. Despite it being Thanks. noon, I'm still kind of tired. Okay, I see the raptor back there. Eric. Another raptor. Back into camouflage. As soon as Dr. Grant started tiptoeing, I knew I would need Eric for this. And then circle. So that's what happens when you get it successfully done in one hit. I think there's an achievement for getting it done in one try five times. So, really get practiced and used to the timing. I'm happy that I was able to get it done. Alright, it's gone. Okay, let's collect more of the studs. The poor dinosaur got electrocuted, though. It's ill. We can't leave it like this. The raptors will eat it. Oh, Eric is going to be okay with getting near Dino Poo. The reason why is because he actually has collected Tyrannosaur P. It's in the movie, too. Uh, little Easter eggs like that really help create these characters to being so different from each other. Okay. So, before we lose out on any 
real component. I'm gonna jump in. That's a child doing that. It's gonna reveal that he wants a banana, a carrot, and a chocolate bar. A cacao bar. Oh, what is it called in Jurassic Park? Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. It's like this really bitter bar that the character Ben eats, and it's s carob bars. Because it's carob juice as well. It it's. It's supposed to be healthier for you, according to the show, but like all the other kids don't like it because there's no sugar. Okay. So there's a point to dig back here. So this will probably be the carrot. Dig. Dig. I'm correct. Would have been really interesting if there was the carob bar, though. Eat this, dino. Okay. So Eric does not have any way of throwing things. That's fine. So he's still not better than Lexi. He's better than Tim because of the fact that Tim uh, can only go through small spaces, really. Meanwhile, uh, Lexi can throw things. But Lexi also can't go into tunnels. Okay, and here is the carob bar. That make me feel better than calling it a chocolate bar. Because if dogs can't have chocolate, then why can a dinosaur? Obviously for game purposes. Let's keep rolling around at the speed of sound. Raptors, run! Okay. Okay, the raptor is here. Slow motion. Now I did hit the box. So we got our first mini kit of the level. Excellent. So if I needed to, I could have jumped back to him. Ooh, Dilophosauri. Oh, I think one of them fell into the water. Don't touch the water! So that's to the end. So 
So not quite doing that yet. So there must be more to the level. Exactly are we Okay. Two, three. Okay, it's another. Scarecrow. It's kind of scary. All these scarecrows. Our third scarecrow. Oh, sweet. Kind of what I hoped. So the Paleon Botanist will get us over there because we don't have someone who likes planting or growing plants. Break all the scarecrows. Okay. Up and across. Choppy, choppy, choppy. Thanks a lot, Eric. You know who I am? Your parents are here. They're looking for you. You're Alan Grant. What are you doing here? Your parents, uh, invited me along. Be careful with that. He wrecks. Scares some of the smaller ones away, but it attracts one really big one with a fin. Listen, copies. Yeah, this Eric is a uh, different Eric. Also, now I think uh, Eric has projectiles. Huh. Those copies aren't so bad on their own. If you meet a group, it's bad news. Luckily, the T Rex scares them off. That or they just don't like the smell. Okay, so now we have a projectile weapon and a means of dispersing uh, copies from uh, groups, like in Isla Sorna's second area. Okay, that's our third area. Sweet. And it's funny that the T Rex smell attracts the Spinosaurus. Okay, let's cut this down. Chop, chop, chop with the raptor claw. Oh, we just... Oh, we need an adventurer to go up that. Let's see. So since we can't go up, we're going across. Going across at the speed of Lego. Okay. This game, there's a lot of Lego games out there. This one definitely feels like it's based more on exploration than it is on combat. Because of 
just how it breaks everything down. Oh, I just exploded Eric. His body no longer lasts in one piece. Ooh. We've got a cluster. That scared them all away. Let's keep digging. This should build us a ladder. Sweet. Okay. Okay. So I see a tunnel for the kid. Over here. We have teamwork to get up. I go that way what is this way camouflage there is a raptor here Okay, and that looks to be it. So, back under. And we've made it through. Now let's head back and through. Okay, now we'll jump up. Again. Beat up the little tiny critters. Another adventurer, or Billy, is needed for that. This should give me the ladder. Yeah. Build that first because then I don't have to worry about it later. We are almost at the end of level. Might as well collect those. Don't worry, Dr. Grant, I'm coming. Oh, that is Lego Bush. I think right up there is the end of the level. Maybe a Spinosaur chase. Okay, build this. There's just no guarantee. Anything to break. Almost there. I saw it back here. True survivor! 
So now if there is no Spinosaurus chase, I at least have True Survivor collected. Because I don't have an Amber piece this time. And we only got three of the mini kits. Oh, there was another blue. Okay. Yeah, there's a boat. Right alongside the bank. Looks in good shape. Listen. What? It's my dad's satellite phone. Mom! Dad! Dad! Mom! Eric! Eric! How, how did you know we were here? The phone! The stupid jingle from the store, I heard it! I don't have it. I loaned it to Nash. He must have had it when he... That's a Spinosaurus, by the way. So I was correct, there was no chase scene after. We're almost at a million studs. It means that when we find our multiplier, four times two, I believe it's times two first, we'll be able to get it right away. True survivor, do 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 do. One, two, three, four. I think it's the Ankylo. We got Eric Kirby's disguise. We got Mark Degler. And Ellie Degler. Oh, that's when she changed. And Charlie Degler is Ellie's son. Oh, I totally forgot about Ellie's son. Jurassic World Dom Dominion, being several years later, better have a Charlie Degler in it. I'm gonna have to check now. Okay, so. I think we're on the other side of... Oh, wow. That is quick. So right here, we are now at what is called the birdcage. So we were just here. This is where Eric's base is. Now we're up here. And then we come back down and right over here is our escape. But this area that we're in right now, the birdcage, is going to be the last Jurassic Park 3 level so we just have to get inside so let's cut the plant pull out Kirby Paul Kirby for the repairs next we need Amanda to jump up, ju jump up, and open this gate manually, and now we can go into the birdcage. <laughs> 